Um, so, hi everyone, I'm going to present um, the team uh, personas and pathways for hybrid events, um, which was Ben, Bezai, Emmy, Jess, Mateusz, Neil, and myself. And we had um, like a guest contribution from Malvika who popped in for half of the day. So, the challenge or the problem that we try, tried to tackle was that there are currently um, a lot of guides out there um, about virtual events and making sure remote participation um, is ensured. And obviously, we've all been to plenty of face to face events, um, but there's not much uh, guidance and um, just easy resources on how to set up a hybrid event and run that. Um, so our goal was to create a collection of resources to help event organizers um, run hybrid events and make sure the interaction there works fine. Um, and we've uh, focused on um, personas, that is um, basically fake people that we make up that have certain uh, attributes to um, ensure those events are um, uh, as inclusive as possible. Um, and we've also created like little pathways um, that means like stories how those um, people would interact with the event and how how they they would um, attend to um, highlight pain points of um, certain choices that you make in event organization. Um, our way there was starting from the big Google Doc um, that was still the, the master group um, and the thoughts that we've created last night before we split into sub um, teams. Um, we then this morning spent some time on actually just creating personas based on ourselves um, using the persona canvas um, from, the, from Mozilla. Um, and based on that, we basically um, could then create like a, a little template on, on how um, a persona would look like and how you would create one for your event. Um, we then had like a check-in with the, the main team and decided that uh, this work would uh, end up in its own little GitHub repo. Um, so we moved the main work, oops, sorry, back uh, into several HackMDs and just actually started flashing out the, the work there. Um, and we had uh, we then split the the group into um, three subgroups um, attacking the uh, three main resources that you will see um, now. So the final product is a Creative Commons attribution licensed GitHub repository um, that's kindly hosted under the Software Sustainability Organization umbrella, uh, and that has um, a variety of um, resources that I'll um, show in more detail in a second. Um, we also have a version of a Google form that you can just uh, use to crowdsource personas um, for remote and hybrid events. That's basically um, based on the personas we created uh, in the morning and our discussions around that. Um, and we also have a, a virtual event participation story map for event organizers um, that uh, digs into the detail of how these personas will interact with the event. Um, how much time do I still have? Am I like going fast? You have one minute, seven seconds. Perfect. So um, basically one of the things that we did is we, um, we looked at the type of hybrids event that we were aware of um, and uh, mapped them to just get an idea of what kind of events are out there and how um, how they work and how um, what, what their attributes are. Uh, we've also created a document with um, best practice examples to make those um, uh, events accessible and things that people, um, uh, event organizers might want to consider. This is um, the story map. You can look at the full one um, later in more detail, but that's um, Emmy and Ben working out um, how people would, uh, uh, attend an event. And uh, in terms of sustainability, uh, at the moment, it is a, a reasonably good standalone resource uh, that event organizers can use. But uh, um, it can also be included in the touring way. And uh, the Motley Green team 
will um, might want to build on that as well and reuse it. That's uh, what Ben is working on. And that's okay. awesome. Thank you.